Welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Eli. And the top of today's bedtime story is Guy spends $550 on the first date. Lesson learned. <laughs> oh man. One more time. Guy spends $550 on a first date. Lesson learned. Before I get to this uh, Reddit posting here, okay, uh, guys, don't ever, ever, ever spend that crazy amount of money on any woman on a first date, no matter how rich you are. No matter how great she may seem to be, right? The purpose of a first date is not even to go to dinner with a woman, in my opinion. Not even to go for coffee. Not even to go anywhere, not spend any money besides the gas you put on your car to drive the meter, right? On a first date, you want to make it simple. It's a chemistry check. Because... Until there is a large rush or spark of sexual attraction and you've been intimate with a woman and you know she's into you beyond your money and anything else you have to offer, then there's no need to invest any money or do anything elaborate with her. It's the bottom line. Many women nowadays know there are so many thirsty beta males out there that will just take any woman out to dinner that gives them the time of day, that, 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 that breathes on, on, on the guy, right? A lot of women, you know, get ticked off when guys like me talk about this. The truth of the matter is I'm not here to kick those women down. I'm here to help people find true love and happiness, right? And the only way you're going to find that out is if you meet in a sim simple way to see if there's chemistry the first time you meet. You meet at a park uh, or you meet, um, you know, at a at a shopping mall or, or, or a... Uh, you know, supermarket parking lot. And typically I suggest meeting in the later afternoon into the early evening because you want to meet at night because you want to give yourself the best chance to have some type of romance happen on that first date. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to have sex on the first date. It's possible, but there has to be at least some kind of making out or kissing or touching uh, or some affection on the first meeting if it's ever going to work out because attraction is a must and not a choice and chemistry happens within three seconds, three, 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 three seconds of laying eyes on each other. So I don't know why the hell this guy would even take this woman out to dinner and I'll read his posting here and you'll see it wasn't his intention to spend this much, but you'll see what happened here. This woman clearly took advantage of this guy. So let's get to this reddit posting here this is from the subreddit dating and the original poster's title is 550 dollar first date in kiev ukraine can you imagine question mark question mark one more time 550 dollar first date in kiev i think that's how you pronounce it ukraine can you imagine i think i think yeah you isn't ukraine like near russia or a part of russia okay Lots of Russian women uh, in in the in the in the Ukraine, and even Ukrainian women. I I think they are, um, you know, a part of, of of Russia if I remember correctly. I stand corrected if I'm wrong. Yeah, a lot of those Russian and Ukrainian women. I mean, they're very beautiful. They they are some of the hottest women. They are. Don't get me wrong. Um, but they are some of the biggest scammers as well too. And a lot of those uh, mail order brides come from the Ukraine and Russia and, and you know, the, that, that part of the world. A lot of these women, um, you know, have risen up due to feminism and they know how to extract resources from a man. <clears throat> Just like I feel this woman did to this man here. So let's, let's get into the posting here and read what happened. And in the little caption below... Uh, this posting is related to a Tinder slash online dating situation. So you met this woman on Tinder, bro. Not a good dating, not a good dating site. Nope. It's not, it used to be okay in the past. Not really good anymore. I never really used it anyway. A teacher barely makes that in a month here. 550 a month. Yeah. Teachers are very underpaid. 
This is the single most expensive first date I've ever been on, including first dates in Paris, dates at the Ritz in Paris. It sounds like you're a pretty, you know, um, well-to-do kind of guy. You probably dress well. You're probably well-known. So you're gonna you're gonna attract women that are gonna try to extract your resources, dude. I hope you learn your lesson here. I went to a restaurant that holds a budget I'm comfortable with. Presuming a girl doesn't abuse my generosity. Well, bro, it's up to you um, to decide whether they can abuse your generosity or not. Why would you take her to dinner on a first date? Why not go for a walk at the park or meet at the shopping mall or do something real simple? I mean, I'd even say a coffee date would be better than this because at least that'd be cheaper. But I don't even do coffee dates anymore. You want to go on a first date and put you and the woman in a situation that gives you both an opportunity to make out and see if there's chemistry. Right? And if the woman doesn't want to do that, it means she's not into you. A woman that sees your pictures and is attracted to you and you talk on the phone and she likes your personality, she's going to want to make out with you. That's how you'll know. So don't put yourself in a situation like this where you can get taken advantage of. Girl sits down, proceeds to order double appetizers, double entrees, the most expensive on the menu, and then tells me she only drinks champagne. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, the restaurant doesn't sell the champagne. So sorry, doesn't sell champagne by the glass. She wanted the most expensive bottle of champagne on the menu too. I told the waiter, "No, moe will suffice." Doesn't doesn't moe make Dom Perignon, which is one of the more expensive champagnes? There are probably more expensive ones than that. Girl walked away with two massive leftover bags. Wow. So she basically used you for a free meal, ate, and took leftovers home. Wow, how nice of her. Karma will get her, bro. Despite agreeing to a sec <clears throat> excuse me. Despite agreeing to a second date, I no showed. That's the best thing you could have done, bro. I would never agree to a second date. She was going to try to take advantage of you again. Ordering double for everything for you and mom. Yep. Ordering the most expensive items on the menu just doesn't work for me. There's nothing wrong with a woman ordering the most expensive items on the menu as long as you're dating her and as long as she's not doing that all the time. And as long as she says, you know, babe, I, I really love you know, crab cakes and I love lobster tail and all that. It's the most expensive thing on the menu though, babe. Um, I just don't want to spend that much money or you spending that much money, right? The woman I, I, I'm with right now, I like taking her to nice places every now and then. I tell her, get whatever you want. I don't care what it costs because we've been intimate together. We have great chemistry and I know she's not taking advantage of me. So I want to do nice things for her because I enjoy nice things at times myself, right? But she would even get mad at me in the past. Say, babe, I'm a simple woman. I don't need you to wine and dine me. I don't need you to take me to expensive restaurants. We can go to the hole in the walls. And we still go to some nice places every now and then. But we've gone to more like hole in the walls that have decent food and they're much cheaper, right? It's all about having the right woman. This woman is not the right woman. This woman... um, it's just either not being raised right or has fallen into the social stigma of, um, you know, women just taking advantage of men. That's the bottom line. Let's see. Ordering the most expensive items on the menu just doesn't work for me. Love is not measured by how much a man is willing to pay. Her dad did well in her childhood and showered her in her childhood with financial gifts. So basically her family, her dad, and her mom and dad spoiled her. So she hasn't learned responsibility. And basically she's mimicking the behavior, uh, you know, of how her father spoiled her, right? You see, women, um, women are attracted to men that are just like their father. So a woman, a, a little girl looks up to her dad as a type of man that she's going to be attracted to when she gets older. Um, a little boy is going to look up to his mom 
as the role model and example of the type of woman he's going to be attracted to. Just the way it works. So yeah, that makes sense. Her dad spoiled her. She's expecting you to spoil her because that's all she knows. That's her parents' fault for raising her that way. They're a well-to-do family and typically well-to-do families, the, the husband and wife, are so busy working and making money that they shower the kids with gifts to try to keep them occupied so they can keep on working and doing other things, right? That's just not the right way to do it. Yeah, get out, bro. This is not, this is not, a, healthy, this is not a healthy woman right here. And I, when I say healthy, I don't mean physically. I mean she's not emotionally uh, or mentally healthy. She just wasn't raised right. She's a, she's a spoiled brat. That's what she is. Her answer, it is what I'm used to. Right, because your daddy spoiled her. You, 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 you know... You know, there's a, there's a country song that goes like this. She's got her daddy's money. Her mama's good looks more laughs than a stack of comic books. Yeah. You know... She probably does have her daddy's money. And she's still spending yours. Then he writes, dodge the bullet on this one. Well, dude. Like, what do you mean you dodged the bullet? You knew this was happening. Right? Why did you agree to take her out to a nice dinner on a first date? Why didn't you ask her to meet you for a walk at the park? Or meet you... Uh, in the parking lot of a shopping mall that's well lit and you walk around the mall and just talk or meet at a supermarket parking lot and hang out in your car for a little bit or you know go walk around near the supermarket area outside i mean there are things you can do that cost no money it's called a chemistry check never ever ever invest this much money on a woman and same thing with you ladies don't invest sometimes the ladies want to take a guy on the first day which is rare right Ladies, never invest any money in a man until you know it's there, until you know that the physical attraction is there and you've had some type of intimacy happening, right? Wow. This woman ordered double everything. How rude of her. Like, I can understand if she ordered one serving of everything for herself that she consumed at the restaurant while hanging out with this guy. But for her to double order everything and walk out with a huge to-go bag to bring home to her family and for her? Wow. What's the best way to handle this next time I see a girl ordering the most expensive things on the menu times two? Dude. You don't take her to a nice restaurant. You don't take her anywhere that costs money on a first meeting. It's called a chemistry check. Right? Right? You make her earn it, right? This woman probably only would agree to go to dinner with you. She probably like manipulated you to take her to dinner, right? And then when she got there, she took further advantage of you. The way you handle this is you don't take a woman anywhere that costs money on a first date. Now, if let's say you're on a first date and let's say... I typically prefer and recommend that guys meet women in the in the early evening. Um, do not ever go on a date, first date typically, during the daytime. But sometimes you may meet a woman in the afternoon for a, for a hike before it gets dark. That would be okay. And if that hike goes well, right, and there's some affection happening on the hiking trail and it's feeling great, then you could take the woman to dinner if you want after that. But don't go to a real expensive restaurant. Just go somewhere like really casual, right? But at least wait to see if she's going to show you any intimacy or kissy-kissy or huggy-huggy or touchy-feely before you do that, bro. Like, I'm not poor by any stretch, nor am I willing to indulge $550 meals for a girl. Dude, you shouldn't even have to do that if you've been with her for five years. Like, dude, that, that's a ridiculous... I think the most expensive meal I've ever been to, and I have to say this, this was one that my ex-girlfriend took me on. I felt really bad because, um, you know, she had two teenage daughters to take care of me. She was making pretty good money at this point, but she took me to a, a, a nice restaurant for my name day, um, and uh, um, I forgot, it was, I think it was called The Melting Pot. A fondue restaurant, high quality. This, this this was like, this was like ten out of five star. 
great service, great food. It cost her $150. I think the most expensive dinner I've ever been to with a woman is about 120 or 130 And here's the reason why. Because typically, the women I have dated, they don't drink alcohol. Sometimes they do. Um, and I don't drink alcohol when I'm at a restaurant because I'm driving. I will have some alcohol at my place or their place or in a hotel room. But I don't drink and, uh, and drive, which saves me a lot of money because alcohol is the most expensive thing pretty much for the most part um, you know, in, in your, uh, on, on your restaurant bill, which is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, um, yeah, that, that's just, that's just uh, a really, really, really expensive, expensive meal. Um, and I don't know if that's $550 uh, U.S., uh, was that's Ukrainian? Like if I if I were to go, and uh, you know, let's see, um, five hundred. Let me see. Do 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 do. Five hundred Ukrainian to USD. Eighteen twenty-two United States. No, so this guy, this guy is probably talking. This guy is talking five hundred fifty American dollars, um, and you know he's putting five fifty because you know five hundred dollars in Ukrainian is like eighteen eighteen American dollars. The the currency exchange is different. So let's see what uh, a few people posted in the comments here because we know how this is gonna go. We know how this is gonna go, but let's let's read a couple before we wrap this up. Where did you meet this girl, and who chose the venue? Well, he put Tinder in the posting. This sounds like one of those common scams in Eastern Europe. It's not a scam; it's just a spoiled and entitled woman that's been spoiled and entitled by her rich daddy. Right? She's got her daddy's money and her mama's good looks. Right? Original poster said, "Yeah, it wasn't a scam. I chose the restaurant because I like it." While those scams exist, the restaurant I chose is not on the list. Okay. No, it wasn't a scam. She was just spoiled and entitled. It's the bottom line. Daddy spoiled her. And so did mommy. Let me see. Hmm. Only things I can think of is to chat with the girl a bit longer if you met her online before going on a date and never go on a date uh, to a restaurant or, you know, somewhere that costs money um, in the first place, you know, unless, like I mentioned earlier, you, let's say you go hiking in the late afternoon with a woman or take a walk and things are going well and it's turning into early evening and you've made out on the hiking trail or the walk or there's some affection happening and you know the chemistry is there, then you, you could maybe go to a, a reasonably priced dinner. But until you get some sign of affection and know that she's into you beyond your money, I wouldn't invest a damn penny. Right. That way you can get a better impression of her personality. Otherwise, maybe select the less fancy restaurant so it would be really hard to get a high bill. Here's the thing. Women that are just looking to scam guys for free dinner, for a free dinner, right? And, and these are not scammers. These are just women that just, you know, try to get away with, you know, free meals and stuff. They just feel entitled to it, right? Maybe you can call it a scam, but it really isn't one, right? Okay. The way you test women to see if they're into you for more than just your money is you just don't take them anywhere that costs money on the first date and see if they want to go on a hike or a walk with you, right? I've had some women in the past that, you know, you know, wanted to go somewhere for coffee, were adamant about coffee or lunch or dinner or whatever, right? And I said, no, I just don't do that. I just don't do that, you know? But most of them in the past... They were totally open to meeting uh, in a place that didn't cost money, like you know, a walk, hiking trail, or or just you know somewhere you know where we could just meet and kick back, like in a supermarket parking lot or a uh, a mall parking lot, or even just walking around in the mall area, right? That's that. Otherwise, maybe select a less fancy restaurant so it would be really hard to get a high bill. 
Just don't go to the damn restaurant in the first place. Test her by taking her somewhere that's going to cost no money and see if she really wants to be with you. I mean, it sounds scam adjacent. It kind of is scam adjacent. It's not a real scam. It's just an entitled and spoiled woman. A spoiled and entitled woman. Spoiled by daddy. Daddy giving her everything. And now she expects this from men because that's how she was raised to be. She thinks it's normal. She thinks this is normal. Okay. Anyway, in future, say we should split the bill since it is the first date. I never understand Redditors on here who will both complain about this but also refuse to put their foot down. You see, this guy has a lot of money. He probably hasn't been on a date in a while and he liked this restaurant, right? And he wanted to go with somebody. She was probably really cute. She's probably really sexy, right? So honestly, you know, I don't think he really cared that, you know, she took advantage of him. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, he kind of does care, but the bottom line is he wanted to go to this restaurant. He didn't want to go alone and maybe he's pretty well-known guy and he wanted to be seen with a woman. Um, but you know, when the bill, I think what really pissed him off is not the fact that it cost him that amount of money because he has a lot of money. I think it's the fact that she ordered double everything to take care of her family and other people. Right. Um, if she had just ordered a regular amount of food, like I said earlier, um, to enjoy while she was there with him. Right. I don't think it would have really upset him. So that's that's my thought on that. Let's read a couple more comments before we wrap this baby up. Yeah, that's why I always opt for a quick coffee for a first date. No big investment of time or money for either of us. I wouldn't even do coffee. I used to do co coffee. You know what sucks about coffee? It's not the point that it, it coffee's cheap, right? You go to Starbucks, even if you get high-end coffee, what are you going to spend at the most at Starbucks? 10, 12 bucks. If you get a sandwich each, maybe you're spending 15, 20 bucks. That is not a big deal. This is it's it's not even about the money at that point, right? So I don't, I don't care about spending 10 or 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. The point of the matter is, is that, is that if you go to a Starbucks or a coffee shop and you're sitting down having coffee with a woman and let's say within three seconds you, you lay eyes on each other and maybe you're not attracted to her, or she's not attracted to you, or maybe you're attracted to her and you can kind of tell she's not giving you that same vibe and, and, and she's not feeling it, Right. Now you're stuck with her, right? Now you're stuck with her and now you're having this fake pretend conversation um, in a coffee shop. Whereas if you were to meet for a walk or a hike or um, a brief meeting like at a supermarket parking lot or a mall parking lot, you walk around the mall or the supermarket strip mall area, right? And do this in the early evening, at least at that point, if, if there's nothing there, Right. Number one, you're not spending any money. Number two, you can end the date right away. You know, there have been times where, you know, I met some women in the past um, and, you know, they just didn't feel it, you know, right away. And we sat down in my car and they just weren't feeling it. And I could pick it up. And I just said, well, you know, it just seems like you're not ready for this and uh, you feel different here now. I'm going to let you go so you can enjoy your night and uh, find what you're looking for, right? Sometimes that happens, right? But it's better for it to happen that way than to be stuck at a dinner with this woman and to be stuck having coffee with this woman, okay? Walking abruptly out of a coffee shop is going to make you look bad, especially if it's in your hometown area or in an area where people know you. You, you don't want to cause a scene anywhere, right? So, yeah, you got to think about logistics much better nowadays, guys. No big investment of time or money until you know that woman is into you and wants to just rock your world in the bedroom. The only way guys know women are into them um, is if they sleep with us. Sorry, ladies, it's the truth. It's not that we, it's not that we just want that. We want more than that, but that when, once, once you give us your body, ladies, we know you really like us for more than our money. At least in most cases. Some women will give you fake sex to get money. And that's another thing. You guys, uh, we'll, we'll save that one for another another video. One more here. We're going to wrap it up. Bruh. Bruh. 
Why are you doing this on the first date? Bruh, 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 bruh. I love this language nowadays. It's millennial lingo, right? What's up, bruh? Bruh, why are you doing this on the first date? Meet up and grab a drink for a first date and don't spend more than 20 bucks. Don't even go for a drink. Why Why sit at a bar and spend 20 bucks on a drink or a couple drinks? Don't do any of that. Plus, why would you want to get alcohol on a woman when you want to see if she naturally likes you sober? No, don't do that. That's horrible. And you know what? With that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this uh, video here today. Folks, gosh, I hope you learned something new here. I've made these mistakes before. Not as bad as this, but I have made money mistakes with women. I'll do some more videos in the future and share some stories in the past of how much money I spent on women. And, you know, I, I made a lot of mistakes. But by the time I hit my early 30s, I learned, maybe maybe mid to late 20s, but especially my early 30s, I learned to not do this like this guy did here. So again, I hope you learned something new. Um, another video is coming to this channel soon. Please like, share, subscribe. Bang, the bang, the bang, the bell. Select the notifications. Have yourself a great night's sleep. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.